This problem illustrates the main concept of using the multiplication rule. Multiplication rule is when you have several trials and you try and find the probability of getting one event of one event occurring and then another event occurring and another event occurring and so on. So it says, use the data in the following table which lists drive through order accuracy at popular fast food chains. Assume that orders are randomly selected from those included in the table. So it's, we're given our sample. Now it says, if three different orders are selected, find the probability that they are all from restaurant C. Okay, so now we're selecting three different orders, meaning we have three different events. Event one is the first order, event two is the second order, event three is the third order. So we're trying to find the probability that they are all from restaurant C. Well, first we have to figure out how many orders are there all together. So let's go ahead and add all these orders together. So I have 322 plus 30 plus 279 plus 54 plus 236 plus 33 plus 120 plus 10. That gives us 1,084. So there's 1,084 total orders. So we have 1,084. Okay, and now let's see how many orders are from restaurant C. So we have 236 plus the 233, that's gonna give us 269. So there's 269 total orders from restaurant C. So the 269 divided by 1,084, that's the probability of the first order being from restaurant C. Okay. So now we have to find out what's the probability of the second order being from restaurant C. So we're going to have to go ahead and multiply. This is the second order. And now since this problem doesn't tell us that the orders are being replaced, and our first order is from restaurant C, that means with our second order, the total number of orders from restaurant C is gonna decrease by one. So now there's 268 orders from restaurant C, and then 1,083 total orders, because we already selected one. And now our third order, we have to do the same thing since it's not with replacement. So now there's 267 orders from restaurant C, and there's 1,082 total orders. So now I'm gonna go ahead and multiply these fractions with each other, and this will give us the probability if we selected three orders, they're all from restaurant C. So I have 269 divided by 1,084, then I have times 268 divided by 1,083, and then times 267 divided by 1,082, now let's see what it's telling us around to, four decimal places, so that gives us 0 0.0152. Let's go ahead and type that in. <clears throat> 0 0.0152. 